Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're going to check out the Black Baron by JS Industries. So the Black Baron I'll be riding is a stock 5.7 and it comes in at 5.7 by 20 and an eighth by 2 and 7 sixteenths and exactly 30.4 litres. So I have been riding the Black Baron for quite a while now and I actually have been lucky enough to have two of them. So originally um, JS, we got a, a 5.8 in the PU. Um, so I was chatting with the guys at JS and we weren't sure what size to go. And a lot of the fishes I've been riding have kind of been like two litres or so um, above my shortboard volumes. And I hadn't seen one and they'd just come out. So I had a chat with them and we said, oh look, let's go the 5.8. And I think it sat at around 31.7 litres. So I had a few surfs on that at first. And while it felt really good, it felt way too big. Um, this was, I was surprised how much of a performance twin fin this was. And there was just too much uh, foam in that board. Um, so I had a chat with them about it and then they got me a 5.7. So I've got the 5.7 now, which I said is 30.4 litres. And this one is not PU, it's actually EPS. So it's a little bit lighter, a um, little bit snappy, a little bit more responsive, and it's been absolutely epic in kind of the summer waves we've had. So looking over the Black Baron, um, it's a fairly flat rocker. There's nothing too much going on. It's pretty simple for a twin fin, a little bit of nose lift, um, a little bit of the tail, not too much, but just enough to keep you out of trouble. And then flipping it over, it has a really slight V. I don't know if you can see it because it's been painted black. There's a slight V that comes, um, starts up around here. Um, it has a double that starts to come through the fins and out the tail, and that V progressively gets a little bit more until it's got a bit of a V. So just, you know, it kind of comes off the tail and makes that kind of rail to rail, and putting some weight and getting vertical off the tail a little bit easier. Um, so like I said, I've had a couple of these, and I've been riding them pretty much all across the Australian summer. So waves in kind of the one foot, so, you know, knee high. Um, and I've surfed it in some waves that have been well overhead in sort of five to six foot, uh, pretty punchy and with a lot of push. And I was just kind of surprised because I've been riding a lot of twin fins, a lot of been more of that kind of fish style board, where this is more of a performance twin. And in those bigger waves, this thing has really held its own. There's two things I thought would kind of go against it. The fact that it's a twin fin and a fish, I didn't normally kind of ride boards like this in waves over, you know, three foot. So overhead wasn't something I'd normally grab, but I was really keen to see how it went and kind of push those parameters a little bit. And the fact that it's, um, it's EPS and it's a really kind of light. And sometimes when I find in those large waves that can be a bit shattery and, you know, not as much control, this thing felt absolutely epic. So, um, Probably where the thing has gone the best is kind of waves in sort of the waist to head high range. Like I said, this is a performance twin. So while it does grovel really well, and I think the EPS um, adds to that ability to grovel in kind of weak and you know less than stellar conditions, this is a really kind of performance twin. Um, like I said, I've surfed it in a whole variety of conditions, but there were some waves where I live just around between Christmas and years, uh, where, where I live it can turn on this really nice right hand wedge. Um, and when it's good, it's really good. And there was one day it was kind of in kind of the three to four foot range, so overhead, but really sucky and had a lot of push. And I just got my hands on this and I was frothing to ride it. And I was just in love with how this thing went because it's flat and got like a tad more volume. It would just get into these sucky waves really, really easy. But when you take off on these steeper things and you go to pull in or get around sections, where a twin fin could historically kind of let you down a little bit and you'd want to be on that performance shortboard, this thing was just amazing. And then when you got a section, you wanted to put some weight into it and jam a turn, it held like it was a performance thruster or more. Um, and those things where twin fins kind of struggle a little bit, this thing did not. In the Black Baron, um, they've been lucky enough to do a fin directly with uh, FCS, which is called the Power Twin. So the Power Twin is an upright twin fin. Um, and this is the recommended fin for this board. I also tried out the MRs and they were okay. They felt a little bit slidey. Um, I think the difference is with a power twin, they're designed without a center fin or a stabilizer fin. So there's a lot more surface area, whereas the MR has a little bit less surface area. Um, you know, you can use a center fin with them and the MR felt really good, but this was absolutely perfect. I was surprised they're quite a firm fin. So they're a glass, glass fin and they have quite a bit of surface area. 
but you could put weight, and, I, and I'm not a light guy, you could put weight into turns, into bottom turns and top turns, and these things just, it was like you're on a performance shortboard, they didn't slide like a lot of twins would, they just had that perfect kind of hold, and sometimes you'd forget you're on a twin fin. Uh, if you're riding Futures, I think something similar to the Power Twin would be the EN that Futures do. The Black Baron is 30.4 litres, so it's roughly about half a litre to a litre above what I ride in a performance shortboard. And this thing has been absolutely spot on. As I mentioned, I originally got sent a 5.8, which was 31.7 litres. So I think if you want to go up and you want it to be a real groveler, maybe add one to two litres above your shortboard or more. If you want something that's going to be a twin fin that'll really perform, and you might surf it in better waves, some waves have a little bit more push, say two foot or plus, I wouldn't go too far above your kind of shortboard volume and dimensions. So this sits 30.4, around a litre than a performance shortboard, and this was absolutely perfect. It was also EPS, so EPS can tend to give it a little bit more float, a little bit more liveliness, but this was absolutely perfect. Uh, overall, I've loved the Black Baron. It's been epic to check out. We've checked out a lot of fishes this summer. This is one of the only kind of performance twins we've really checked out, and it's been absolutely epic. It shocked me how well it performs in slightly larger waves and waves with a bit more push, where your kind of twin fins would normally kind of slide out and not have that performance. Uh, also, the EPS technology it's come in has been epic. So when it's one foot smaller and waves are really average, it's made a little bit more lively, give it a little bit more float, and made it a little bit more fun to surf. Uh, overall, I've loved it, and hope you get a chance to check one out. Thanks so much for watching.